What's up riders, old man Ronan here. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, well, I'm gonna show you some stuff, guys, why I haven't uh, been uh, really riding too much the last uh, week and a half is because of this. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, this is uh, this is our driveway, and it is nothing but a sheet of ice. We had a, a tremendous uh, amount of uh, freezing rain, and then it got cold, and so you can see we're way uphill. <laughs> It's like a 30 degree uh, uh, incline. So we've uh, we've backed down. Uh, you know, I don't mind riding in snow, but I've always told you guys that ice was a, a big no-no for me, uh, and that's why we're not doing it. Well, as we uh, walk up this icy trail, and I'm going to try to stay in the deeper snow if possible, because uh, if not, my butt's going to slide all the way down the driveway because it is literally a sheet of ice. I'll put it to you this way. Uh, we couldn't even get our four-wheel drives up to the garage anymore. Uh, whether it's a Jeep or with the truck, it's just that slippery because it uh, we had that freezing rain and it made a sheet of ice and you'll run all the way down the driveway like uh, almost 2,000 uh, feet. But uh, regardless, question is, is Royal Enfield getting it right? Let's talk about that. I would say 2015 is the year Royal Enfield really entered the serious world market. And I don't really mean that as any disrespect. They are, they are the largest, uh, one of the largest motorcycle manufacturers in the world. And they're the oldest one in continuous uh, production. But in 2015, they introduced the Himalayan. And that kind of really changed everything. I know when I was first introduced to the uh, Himalayan, uh, you know, I was excited about doing the Transamerica Tour, or the TAT, the T-A-T, and I first was going to build a bike, like I've done so many times before, and to accomplish this, I was going to buy either a used Sportster or upgrade an old KLR. All seemed good, but not the right solutions. Uh, a fan told me when I first started the channel that he had a 2018 Himalayan for sale, and uh, I, uh, I was looking through the brand, and I started looking stuff at YouTube, and Man, I'll tell you what, I literally fell in love with the bike before I ever rode it. And uh, I went to talk to the gentleman. He actually never even rode the bike on the road. He had 11 miles on it, and he had had it for a couple years and just literally had it sitting in the garage. Well, uh, I uh, talked to him. He said, man, he says, I love your channel. He says, I want to ride, but I, I don't, I, you know, he, he was a little bit shorter in stature. And he decided that that wasn't the bike that he wanted to use and he wanted to be a part of the channel. And that's how I got the bike. I bought it at a really good price and I've literally not looked back since then. I would say the Himalayan is without a doubt the best motorcycle investment I've ever made. The Himalayan literally has opened up um, a whole new aspect of riding for me uh, in my new area where I live now. Um, we have a lot of gravel roads, and I've taken the Harleys back there, and I've taken other, you know, dirt-style bikes back. But uh, the Himalayan is really just, I mean, it's perfect for the tat. It's perfect for back roads. It's perfect for gravel roads. And I think it's perfect for the world. And that's one of the reasons why I think Royal Enfield really started their main push uh, as far as doing the right things by introducing the Himalayan. In 2017, Roland Field introduced the 650. Uh, they became available in 2018, but the 650 parallel twin was probably the greatest step they had made towards uh, the world market and really set them uh, steadily on that uh, right path, in my humble opinion. Uh, these bikes, the Continental GT, the INT 650, or the old Interceptor, those two uh, motorcycles have really, really stated uh, a, a claim as far as in the mid-motorcycle uh, range. Uh, it, it, inexpensive, easy to work on, great performer, and they've actually partnered with SNS, so there's a lot of aftermarket uh, uh, performance parts available as well, too. So you can buy the 650 twin, and there's more models coming is what I'm told. Uh, you really, really, really have the opportunity to uh, to have a motorcycle that is going to give you great performance on both the highway and the twisties, canyon carving, or just running cafe to cafe, giving you those miles of smiles. Well, that kind of covers a little bit about some of the, the uh, older models, the Himalayan and, of course, the, uh, the 650s, but uh, what else do we have on store? 
the Royal Enfield Meteor 350. Introduced in 2020 and then uh, became available in 2021 here in North America in particular. But uh, it's kind of a throwback to the 50s. That's where the original nameplate was. And I know it replaced the Thunderbird in the uh, Indian market. But uh, it's really the first a cruiser attempt from a Royal Enfield in a very, very long time. Simplicity of design, uh, ease of maintenance, you know, all the things that make Royal Enfield what Royal Enfield is. And you add that to a modern bike, you know, I love that little tripper that they've got on it. It, uh, it really works good. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, also, I really enjoy the smoothness of that little 350 engine. That thing is, uh, I'm telling you, uh, it, it's probably one of the best single cylinders as far as for anti-vibration that I've ever seen on the market. It's a, it's a true treasure to ride. We definitely have more experience on the uh, Meteor 350 uh, of any of the other uh, Royal Enfields besides the Himalayan. And Iron Lady and I ride two up on it all the time. And it's hyper comfortable. Uh, I can't wait to put uh, saddlebags on it to do some actual real long distance touring on the bike. I think it'd be more than capable. And uh, you guys seen in a lot of videos like you're watching right here the, how much fun Iron Lady and I have had together on the bike. You know, two ups of breeze, it'll do 70 miles an hour with both of us on. As long as there's not any really, really steep hills, it'll drop a little bit of the speed. But it's really comfortable up in those higher speeds, which is surprising for a 350 engine. It totally blew me away. And it's one of the reasons why I think Royal Enfield with these smaller engines and just some of the different platforms they've got are on the right path. So, again, we're coming down to what I think uh, a Royal Enfield's doing right. Well, another factor is the Royal Enfield Meteor 350. Without a doubt, the uh, classic uh, 350 is going to be a motorcycle that's going to be really popular worldwide. Not sure how she'll fly here in the U.S. or North America, but uh, I think uh, with the growing aspect of people wanting that old school look, I mean, the bike is based upon uh, World War II looks, if you really want my opinion, and uh, it's a gorgeous motorcycle, uh, but it's got an upgraded uh, 350 engine it's on the Meteor, and it will. I've never ridden one, but I think it's going to make it a fantastic motorcycle. Both the original Classic 350 and the Classic 500 were uh, were introduced in 2009. This particular model uh, was introduced last year, but uh, they're not available in the U.S. of yet. I can't wait to get my hands on one. I don't have a whole lot of film on it since they haven't really introduced it yet, but we do have some uh, pictures here that we're showing you. So is Royal Enfield getting it right? <laughs> well, I don't know if any company could get it right. But I'll tell you, as a Royal Enfield owner and also rider, I think that they're on the right track, especially with the new Classic 350 and some of the new 650 Twins that are going to be on the market, hopefully in the next year or so. It's, uh, it's going to be an exciting time to be riding Royal Enfield. That's for Dagon sure. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Share and comment. You know I read all the comments and comment on as many as I possibly can. Make sure, guys, check out Kemimoto Heated Gear. We've still got that 30% discount going on. They were kind enough to do it and partner with us. And uh, guys that are bought them so far are really enjoying them. Use the coupon code below, Ronan, to get that 30% off. Well, until next time, guys, ride safe and keep her on two wheels, baby.